hi everyone thank you for joining me today my name is Odette welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about steaming but first let me show you my unit so this is the facial steamer here and I'm just going to show this to you okay it's called it's called Medisonar okay Medisonar and this is the actual unit right here and I purchased this facial steamer from selfishes.com and I'm going to leave uh, all the information in the description bar for below for you guys now this facial steamer has a nose attachment it has a little gadget here which can really control how much steam that comes out from your facial sauna or facial steamer and I love this little tub now this little tub here as you can see it's a little bit deep and what you can do with that little tub is you can put your essential oils in here. You can use lavender oil, eucalyptus oil, cinnamon oil, whatever suits your fancy. Okay. But my oil of choice it has always been lavender. So this is the lavender oil right here. Now you can pick lavender oil up from any, um, I'm just going to bring that back a little bit from any uh, health food store, beauty supply store, maybe a local grocery store, you can pick lavender oil up. You can get that basically from anywhere. But this is the lavender oil that I always use and I am never without a bottle of lavender. So what I usually do is, um, I will take my little tub. I, first of all, as you can see, in the actual tub, the well for the water, it's quite deep. So you don't want to put any essential oils in here. You do not put any essential oils in here because there can be a buildup of bacteria, right? And sometimes oils always get stained in the tub. So don't put any oils in here. Only put water, okay? And so what you will do is you're going to take your little attachment like this and you are going to pour your lavender oil or whatever essential oil that you want to use in the tub okay in that little tub right there and then you are going to attach that because as you can see in here has a little a little thing that turns it's a little attachment that turns you can take that out and you are going to put with the essential oils right there and you are going to hook that up to the base of your steamer okay and you just latch that in place and you and off you go and oh my god this steamer is amazing. I have never seen a facial steamer like this. So before you actually start steaming your face, you need to put the little attachment on top because little attachment really, it, it just goes in and you can turn that around as you can see, but this determine how much steam you want to have come out from your face. Now it also has a nasal part of it, a nose steamer. Oh my God. <laughs> it's steamer for the nose. Now this, part of the steamer is really it's great because if you have black heads around the nose white heads around the nose um open pores whatever it is you want to have that you'd usually have around the nose you can steam just the nasal part only now i would only suggest if you're going to be steaming around your nose you do it for about 10 minutes i would even say 10 minutes or less because in the nasal cavity um there are tender tissues that you don't want to have damaged okay so you want to be able to do the nose the nasal your nasal or your nose steaming not your nasal but your nose steaming for 10 minutes or less you don't really want to do more than that and it's a great attachment to have for this steamer. Now I've purchased um, steamers in the past and I have never seen this. This is one of the reasons why I was actually drawn to this one. Selfridges.com, all the details are gonna be in the description bar for you guys. Now, another benefit um, of having the steamer is, besides steaming your face, um, but actually before I get into that, to that, one of the most important benefits of facial steaming is detoxing because of let's just face it we live in a very detox uh, a very toxic environment and you want to be able to do everything you can to help to detox your skin detox your face detox your body detox your life get rid of friends get rid of negativity whatever it is you want to do it's important to detox your, your face and well you can steam your friends but i'm just kidding no no but I, you know what i mean right you just you want to be able to detox um your body and detox your skin 
and especially for me in the winter time because I do live in Canada and it's winter time now and it's really cold and it's really harsh and it's very very crisp and you know you get this blowing snow on your face all the time although I tend to cover my nose but you know blowing snow is blowing snow and I mean with the blowing snow comes toxic but you know because you know the salt is the ground is salted and you know people put sand on the ground people put salt whatever the case may be and you know when it blows it blows really white and and you're not quite sure exactly what it is you're taking into your face. So it's important that you build up a, uh, a steaming regimen for your skin as part of, as part of your facial routine. Okay? So, and when you are um, steaming your face, you, what you're going to realize is that um, you're going to start sweating. And that means you are detoxing. You know, your pores are going to be open. And you're going to detox all the gunk that's stuck in those pores. It could be for makeup, not being, not cleansing your face properly and stuff like that. It really is important. And I would suggest that if you do have, let's say, an open pore, um, open wound, like a broken pimple, you do not want to steam your face. What you can do is you can go through your regular cleansing routine, but you can use um, baking soda because baking soda is really good and it's very, very healing. You put a little bit of a baking soda in your hand and you just put a little bit on the open wound because I've done that before and it healed in two or three days. Okay, so I would not suggest using the steamer on open wounds or if you have, um, you know, seriously damaged skin you don't want to have to do that but in order to maintain um, some routine and some consistency for your skin you want to be able to add steaming as part of that regimen um, and I would not like again I would not suggest that you steam more than twice a month okay because like I said you really do need to start detoxing your face and then you would see the difference you would see the big difference uh, steaming is going to make uh, in a few months because you know your skin is going to get used to a certain routine and um, you're going to see a difference so what you will do when you're done steaming your face is you're going to take a cool face cloth because you want to be able to close the pores on your face okay so you take a cool face cloth the face cloth that you use when you're using your toner and you damp that cloth and you put it over your face for at least 30 40 50 60 seconds so you can feel the pores being closed and then you do a gently a gentle tap all over your face and make sure all the moisture is gone and then you can go ahead and you can add your serums and your moisturizers and your gels and whatever the case may be that you put on your face and you will see a big difference. Now, tip number two, besides using the facial steamer for your face, what I usually do with my steamer is I would plug my steamer in my bedroom and let it steam for just a little bit so I can get some moisture in the air. Because sometimes when I come home from work, my brain would not shut down I would my I'm gonna keep going because I would say to my husband I can still hear chatter in my head I can still hear people talking so you want to be able to calm yourself down and wind down a little bit and how I do that is by put, plugging in my steamer putting some lavender oil in the in the little well and let it steam into my room for at least 15 or 20 minutes before I go to bed and by the time I get into my bedroom my bedroom smells like a spa you have this smell of lavender and all of a sudden you feel like oh my god you feel so calm and you feel so relaxed and one of the things that I usually do with my lavender oil is I would just do a little bit like that just on my finger as you can see it's kind of a shiny right there and I'm just gonna put this one across my nose because they want to be be able to be very gentle with um, lavender oil and don't overuse your essential oils because too much of one thing is, is not good for you, right? So right across the nose. And so by the time I put um, my head on my pillow, I, I'm out like a baby. It, it's so amazing. That is a very important tip. And you try it and you leave your comments below and you let me know what you think because it's you are not going to regret it. It is so important to have moisture in your ear because according to the National Health Institute, I mean, it's very important that you have moisture in your, in, in your room, especially when you're sleeping because, you know, sometimes you wake up in the morning and your eyes are dry and your nose are dry and your skin's dry and your throat's dry. That's because you don't have any moisture in the air. And when you're in a room, when you're sleeping in a room that has moisture in it, I mean, your skin is going to feel so supple 
your body is gonna feel feel good I mean it's, it's just an overall health benefit so it's very important that you try that tip okay that's tip number two just using your steamer as a humidifier in your bedroom you are not gonna regret it and that you can do every single day of the week you can use that for as long as you want but when it comes to steaming your face which is tip number one you want to be able to steam your face at least twice a month if your skin is starting to get under control let's say for example you're getting rid of all your crow's feet and your dark spots and stuff like that then you can um, if you want to increase that to maybe I would say twice uh, three times a month go ahead but for me as you can see my face is pretty much clear I use my steamer twice a month only okay there are so many benefits to, to steaming your face oh my god it, it it's it's incredible it really is incredible and you know what when it comes to your essential oils i think every single household should have some lavender oil don't ever be without lavender oil in your house in your house okay that's it thank you guys so much for watching um i'm going to leave all of the, all of this information in the description bar below and um like i said i got the steamer from selfridges.com because i really like the attachments in the steamer especially the part for the nose and again you can use any essential oils that you want and it's definitely up to you okay thank you for watching and i'm going to do um a makeup tutorial for you guys on what i'm wearing on my face right now because i'm actually wearing um uh, uh, um the lancome foundation right now with uh, i think caramel it's number 20 caramel but i'm gonna get to that in another video but in the meantime thank you for watching have a great day and please use those tips for this steamer you are not going to regret it and please thumbs up my video subscribe to my channel you can visit my website and from my website you can link to my facebook and my twitter account and i do a lot of blogging on my website about the products that i'm using and just keep in mind guys that every single um thing that i'm sharing with you are important tips to to to, to practice and to be part of your daily routine part of your daily life and you are going to see such a big difference in the way that you look and the way that you feel have a great day folks it's been so nice talking to you and i will see you guys in my next video and bye for now bye